Hello, welcome to a deep tutorial. Today we'll explain you how the microbit controls the DC motor and to make a fan. Before starting, we need to prepare the microbit, a deep microbit expansion board, one motor module with the fan blades and four jumper wires. Because the power of this motor is too large, we can't start the fan with the power supply of microbit. We need two USB jumpers to connect external power. If we want to control the module, we need to have a chip. And you can see it uses an L911OS here. Now we connect the fan blades to the motor module. And then connect it to the expansion board with the jumper wires. The red wire to anode. The black wire to cathode. And the rest two, you can pick the wires randomly. Again. Red to anode, black to cathode, A to P0, B to P1. And then connect the micro bit. And finally, connect to the computer with the USB cable. Now, let's learn the principle of the control chip. The L911OS is a two channel push pull power amplifier ASIC designed for controlling and driving motors. The discrete circuit is integrated into a single IC to reduce peripheral device costs and improve overall reliability. The chip has two TTL CMOS level compatible inputs, which have good anti interference performance and the two outputs can directly drive the forward and reverse movement of the motor and it has a large current driving capability and each channel can pass 750 to 800 milliampere continuous current peak current capability can reach 1.5 to 2 ampere meanwhile it has a lower output saturation voltage and quiescent current its building clamping diode can release the inrush current of the inductive load, making it safe and reliable in driving the relay, the use of DC motors, stepper motors, or switching power tubes. And the following are some information about the pins. So now write the code. Open Google. Click on Mako Online Editing and then import the code of DC motor fan. I have already opened before, so just click here. You see when the button A is pressed, the motor rotates at the maximum speed. When the button B is pressed, the motor stops. Download the code to microbit. Now we press button A. The motor starts to rotate. But you can see the indicator light is not too bright here. We need to connect external power. Press button B to make it stop. Plug another USB cable into this power supply port. Note that the anode should be connected to 5V. And remember to switch it on. 
Now let's try again. You can see the motor rotates very quickly. You can even use it when in hot summer. Of course, the motor can rotate in the other direction. We modify the code and change it to 1 here. And then the maximum speed can only be changed to 255. Download the code. At this time, we can see the fan rotates in other direction. Of course, you may not see clearly. Just follow us to make a fan and you will know. Next, let's look at the code of our new Python. Open new. And then follow the path to find the code we provided. Open it. In fact, the code is also very simple. You need to import the microbit library file first. Then write a loop directly. If button A is pressed, the motor rotates at this speed. If button B is pressed, the motor stops. Download the code and you can see that the effect is the same as with main code. We'll leave our demonstration here. Now, this is pretty much it for this time. I believe you already know the purpose of the L911 OS and also know to control the motor with microbit. If you still have questions, post to our forum. We will reply to you soon. See you next time.